Abba Father. Psalm chapter 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my inequity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judge. Behold, I was shaken in inequity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with high salt, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and brought out all my inequities. Create in me a clean heart. O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from my presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Verse 14. Deliver me from blood guiltiness. From blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord God Almighty, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion and unto the planet earth. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. Psalms chapter 49 Hear this, all you people, give ear, all you inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditations of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. 
I will open my dark thing upon the harp and the guitar. Wherefore shall I fear in the days of evil, when the inequity of my heels shall compass me about? They that trust in their wealth and their money, and boast themselves and the multitude of their riches. None of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever. Verse 9. that he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave all their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts and the animals that perish. This their way is their folly. Yet, their posterity approve their sayings. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God, Lord Almighty, will redeem my soul from the power of the grave. For he shall receive me. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich. When the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Verse 18 Though while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee. When thou doest well to thyself, he shall go to the generation of his fathers, they shall never see light. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beasts that perish. The mighty God, even the Lord, has spoken and called the earth and the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temptuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that may covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens shall declare his righteousness. For God is judge himself forever.